Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review, where we're reviewing episode 102, and the title for this episode is The Power of Love Explodes, Universe 2's Magical Girl Warriors. And yes, in the final shot of, the, of last week's episode, we get a shot of Brienne, one of the warriors that belongs to Universe 2, and there are, other, there are two other warriors that are a part of um, this group of warriors from universe 2 uh, I don't I don't really get it and the beginning first 10 minutes of the episode I, I get why they did it it was a gag it was supposed to be like a fun gag for the sh uh, the episode to have but I do understand why people are a little bit agitated about it and why they don't like it and why they wouldn't like it I will I will uh, also agree like I feel like it could have been done a little bit faster like uh, the, the first 10 minutes was just a big gag and did it get like kind of annoying after towards the almost the end of it yeah I said I would say I was a little bit annoyed with it but I'm I'm not really I'm not really too mad about it as much as I probably should be for a lot of people that would agree but no uh, it was it was whatever. I, I I actually had a little bit of fun with it, so I kind of give it like a pass because it, it did make me laugh. It did make me smile a little bit, so it's it's kind of whatever. So b basically, the beginning of, of the first ten minutes begins with uh, Brienne and and two other warriors uh, that have transformations similar to Brienne. Uh, they're starting to transform. They have like this whole. You know scene just of them taking a really long time to transform and then out of nowhere 17 actually shoots, shoots off a blast uh, towards the th the trio and uh, of course Goku's like what do you, what are you doing they were transforming and then 17's like well they were wide open so I, I just took a shot and there you go and then of course because they were trying to do like a whole sequence of fucking love bullshit whatever this formation i don't get it. it it's it's like sailor moon and all all these other like really like shows are similar of what these three did in the episode it's supposed to be like that it's supposed to poke fun i don't mind it like i said but of course they get mad they kind of scold 17 like less transform or whatever and topo actually comes uh around and kind of was like yeah it's like their justice or or whatever like just what whatever topo actually says of course and uh of course 17 is just like kind of it's just kind of like whatever allows them to transform and then they have to start all the way from the beginning all over again and got a little bit annoyed. I was like, they could have sped this up a little bit because it was barely any different from when they first tried to do it. Uh, Beerus even points out the fact, like, <laughs> like he's an idiot. They should try to be knocking him out of the arena, but of course they don't because it's Goku and Vegeta, and yeah. So they success. They they succeed in transforming. And we get back into actual action for the rest of the episode, which which makes up for the whole first half of the episode. And I'm glad they did what they did, but I, well, I was a little annoyed with the first half. So, uh, Brienne shoots off the this aroma that surrounds the entire uh, arena that is supposed to kind of like hypnotize you, I guess, and kind of make you supposed to... Re represent like love or whatever some people fall for it most of them don't they're kind of just like whatever about it uh and something that i actually like that they did is that if you remember there was a joke that they did a couple weeks ago when master roshi before the tournament had started he did some training with poir so that way he would be able to resist uh the looks and the scent of a woman and luckily the training paid off for master roshi and now he's basically immune to it. So I like how they brought back that joke and kind of, you know, expanded upon it because I thought it was hilarious. Uh, Gohan is 
telling everyone that they should split up and fight independently and that's what they do and so um, uh, Go Goku's fighting one of them, Vegeta's fighting Brienne and uh, 17's actually fighting another one as well and the rest of, the rest of the episode kind of focuses on 17 and his fights and uh, we get a shot and a couple of, of uh, fight scenes from Vegeta and Brienne and they kind of reuse the footage of what they did in the intro which I don't mind but it could have been something different but I don't I don't mind it's, it's whatever saves time I guess so it doesn't really matter uh, Brienne does like this uh, rolling ball kind of charge technique uh, Vegeta is actually about to kind of like punch her in the face but he actually dodges it because he thinks that it's actually uh, gross, which they kind of got up like really uh, quick and, and like a zoom in of her face and it wasn't pleasant to see but it's whatever and then when that happens uh, someone actually gets collateral damage it's one of Universe 10's fighters and he gets knocked out because of Brienne and you know uh, it was it was weird it's always gonna, it's always gonna be weird because this is Dragon Ball but whatever so uh, 17 is having his fight Goku's having his fight uh, don't know what Brienne's doing uh, I apologize for not re remembering their names I just simply almost don't care for some of their names <laughs> but uh, if I do remember I will say it but for now I just don't care uh, Kukunsa? That's what... Uh, uh, I believe that's how you say her name. That's who Seventeen is actually fighting currently. And this is actually a very interesting matchup because, uh, as we know, uh, Seventeen is a, is a park ranger. He works for with uh, with various different animals. And Kukunsa, uh, uh, her transformation or her form, her another... Uh, her alternate form, whatever, however you want to say it, it's a transformation acts like a wild beast so it's an interesting matchup uh, she's uh, clawing and biting almost like a cat like a wild cat and stuff like that 17 seems to be having a lot of trouble but uh, he catches her off guard with his barrier uh, spins the barrier around and tries to knock her off for the, the arena but uh, one of Universe 2's uh, warriors I don't remember her name I apologize and I don't really care enough to know her name uh, basically, she uh, saves Kukunsa from getting knocked off of the arena and, you know, kind of retaliates back at 17. 17 is like, okay, uh, they kind of reminded me of some of the animals back uh, on, on the island or whatever. So it was then he knew that it was time to get serious. He gets serious, uh, knocks knocks off one of them, and then goes after Kuk uh, Kukansu, however you fucking say her name. I don't Kukunsa, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> goes after her, Kukunsa, goes after her, and then uh, having a little bit of uh, really cool fight scenes, actually. It was very interesting to watch. Uh, they're fighting back over and over again, and then, of course, 17 knocks knocks her off of the arena, and so that's two knockouts back-to-back, -back, uh, and I, f I find it hilarious how three of the knockouts... Uh, two of them came from 17. 17 did really good in this episode, and uh, I only hope to see more, but next week we're not going to get that. We're going to get some Gohan action next week, and that's going to be exciting. I may talk a, a little bit about that uh, later on. But uh, the final shot is Brienne kind of getting really pissed off with her maiden's rage or whatever, anger or whatever. Whatever you fucking want to call it. And that's the end of the fucking episode. <laughs> it's the end of the episode. Brienne is uh, angry. She's, p she's pissed off. She, and I guess the beginning of the next episode is going to have a scene with Seventeen and Brienne kind of briefly fighting. Uh, maybe not to the point where Seventeen gets knocked off of the arena. But point is, is that yes, they're going to have a fight. Should be interesting, but I don't know. Next week's episode is going to be a uh, Gohan episode, Gohan vs. Baltamo, if I believe, if I heard the rumors uh, correctly. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though, because 
Um, this this uh, last week there were leaks for this episode, this week's episode, and there was supposed to be some kind of fusion with uh, Brianne Kakunsa and uh, the other girl, but there wasn't. I'm not sure if there was a typo in the, the translation, but the thing is that uh, Geekdom actually had like three translators, you know, translate the the uh, the Viz um, uh, thing, uh, just promotion thing, and it should have been correct but there was nothing that involved fusion uh overall uh i had fun with this episode it was definitely fun to watch and it was unique and different uh the normal dragon ball stuff but i am like kind of just like indifferent about like the first 10 minutes of the episode I was kind of annoyed but and kind of just like over it now it's not really that big of a deal it's whatever but overall, uh, it's it's an alright episode. Um, definitely watch it. I'm not gonna say uh, miss out on it because I I would recommend to definitely watch it because it is fun. It is enjoyable. It's wacky. That's what Dragon Ball is known for. And just yeah, just go ahead and watch it. it it's fun. Uh, out, of, out of like a five star rating, I would give it like a three out of five stars, honestly, because. Uh, I can't get over. I almost can't get over the, the first half of the episode, but I am kind of over it. Don't know how to explain it. Just it's whatever. I'm rambling. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.